Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Shows. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Two Minds Against the Overlords campaign. Now Chapcat and Saiken are back at it. It is my turn to free Dr. Holder Emad, a scientist 401 Intel. And uh, the last mission apparently went quite rough, so a lot of people are currently either traumatized, uh, tired, injured, and whatnot. Which means we gotta edge this one out and unfortunately no zapper is available which already inherently is a problem from my perspective because i like cover removal but uh, in order to not like go too far off the grid we are using whatever we do have available and we're going to go with that so let's jump into the mission and uh, see how this one is going to turn out uh, wish me luck, boys. This, this is a one-way trip. And off we go. Alright, we landed. And it's one of those missions where we are starting with uh, almost no concealment. Other than the snipers who get the phantom ability as a default. So what I want to do is I want to push in as far as possible to see if we can make that work or even go as far as to push to here nope nothing okay that's good which means this here and this and this all should work out well and we're good 12 rounds are not a lot so might as well get started immediately Moving to position. short little move over here does not trigger anything Got it. Moving. let me use our concealment nothing okay well in which case that should be fine okay a few overwatches and we should be good to go so far double sprint means we're quite ahead of the curve but we've heard the first sound indication uh, which tells me there might be a pack downstairs i will do a classical run and gun pull just to find out that there is no one interesting There's an entry over here, okay. Let's use our own only concealment that we do have. Moving Hogbite to the front line. Okay, can't uh, count on gotcha. This was indicated as not triggering, whilst in reality it was triggering. Disheartening to say the least. All right, I'll go. We're moving over. It's a flanked uh, position, but we should be fine because we are actually taking this guy down. Um, don't want to go in too far. 
I would like some uh, full cover and I want to spread out a bit this here unfortunately would be retaliatable this here is micro missiles this here however could work because they don't know that the sniper is here Alright, shredding the Mac a little bit. Not the best, not the worst. Uh, let's move to here because I don't really don't want micro missiles to explode the car. And we're not very lucky with our hits either. So this is going to suck. Well, now they have figured out that we're there, so micro missiles are imminent. <clears throat> or an overconfident decision to take a hit on us. Shredding. I like it. Into a kill. Might be pulling another pack. Okay, so far we're not. What's over there? Moving up. Unfortunately, can't reach. Unfortunately, we can't reach him. Which means I would like to flashbang just to make sure that his chances of hitting us are low. Parrying Overwatch. And moving a bit closer, but still in full cover. I'll take one low uh, low chance shot, and the other one is Overwatch. Well, that was actually quite good. Yeah, we can't nail that. So listen, he is flashbanged, which means at the moment he cannot counter attack. It suppresses uh, mu uh, the mutant's ability to do that. This might pull another pack. But if that if it would have, uh, I would have been okay with it. Go, go, go. Charging up. On your order. If we would have pulled something upstairs that uh, would have been still okay, they wouldn't have been able to get to us fast enough. Staying there, overwatching, parry, and I think we're okay. These two totally look like faceless ones. I don't know if it's just me. And this here looks totally like a suppressible uh, uh, zone. Three. 
good well two is good enough that means aim penalties and they should not be able to use their special abilities in terms of moving in further this might trigger another pack okay no problem too far away for them to do anything meaningful well with the exception maybe of mr stun lancer there Good, we're moving up for an overwatch position. And what I would want to do is hop by moves all the way to here. And we're overwatching and overwatching. Ten hit points so we should be fine and this is a really good position for a sniper it's aggressive yes but they should be slowed down and have an aim penalty so this is a bit better than full cover at the moment he still retains the aim penalty <sighs> But it's always the punching ball. But such is the life of a frontliner. Okay, well, so far that worked out brilliantly, didn't it? Car is full cover, which means this here is actually a decent position because almost no one can see him. So I'm even considering to just stay there. Purifier could be a great target for a finisher. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Now that was really good. Uh, we're moving up here. It's strange that I can't see the guy from right here. This uh, thing is in the way, unfortunately. I'm going. On a move. Moves up. And let's kill the assault. Didn't work out. Missed. I think we got to try that again. Unfortunately, I can't suppress the mutant now. I need to hope that the mutant comes to his senses and wants to melee attack Hawkbite. Which he does not want to do. 
Maybe he wants to shoot him. Yeah, there we go. More Overwatch. And what we could do here is get into cover. Ignore the Overwatch for now. And start working on that mutant. Reload, shoot, Take a look at this. and there's our payoff. Now, bracing in to hit this guy. Overwatch here, reload, and just take a shot. It wouldn't have been better with Overwatch, so never mind. There is to lead the target. There is the other Overwatch. It's almost down. And goes for suppression play. Interesting choice. Hogbite does that and takes up the loot. Oh, Larium Core, Advanced Expanded Magazine and Intel. That's not bad. And I think we're pretty much done with this map. Yeah, slight hit onto Hogbite, which means he's going to be out of commission again. But I hope, since we do have medium armor, and that means his actual hit points have not been reduced as much, that we might see only a few days and not too much. VIP goes first. So that we're not having the issue with evac all and then the VIP just doesn't count. And it was an okay mission. Nothing to break about. Alright, let's see. Six days. Well, that is okay. And he got a promotion out of it on top of it, which is really good. Uh, let's take overcharge. We need more focus. That's a good one. And let's save some points for Bladestorm because that is a fabulous one. Also, I should remember that he's not triggering Overwatch fire. I did not have that on my radar. Uh, okay, interesting. Spectre here can team up with Hogbite. That's a cool combination. And these two can team up. Whoa. Good. Two bonds in one mission. And we got an advanced expanded magazine, which is really good. And an alien data cache, which, which is also fine. You have done an Plus a scientist and 101 into. Wow, things are going our way, aren't they? Reduce contact costs. Not bad, that would be Intel. But for now, let's just get some supplies because I want weapon upgrades uh, that are going to come in soon. We have enough alloys and delirium. One. Two. 
good. Training center would not be bad. Resistance communications would not be bad. Unfortunately, we still can't uh, build the infirmary, so training center is the next natural uh, suggestion here. But I want to continue clearing the alien debris. And how about more excavation here? Or we don't need to rush the training center. It's a good one for bond improvements, but it's not needed to be rushed immediately. We got the money, time to get uh, the intel, and then we're going to go for West Africa. Pepcat definitely got us quite a bit of intel overall. Uh, that was not really worth it. That, on the other hand, is worth it. What's our bonus here, by the way? Inside knowledge. Uh, that's a really, really good one. Uh, Pursue of knowledge, I see. Hepcat wanted to also get here and get that uh, extra laboratory uh, going. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Let's make contact, get the continent, uh, continent bonus here. And then we're essentially making contact up there. Okay. But, but before that uh, happens, we either need to go through protect the device for an engineer and a major breakthrough. Oh, and that has Cult of Jiraiya in it. Cool. Or Intel and Chris Ellis <laughs> on every mission. Okay, both are not very fun missions. Um, he gets the loss again. I haven't even had a chance to fight against the loss once. And I think out of five missions of Tapcat, four were with the loss. Uh, so he is becoming an expert in battling them down. I'll leave it up to him uh, what kind of mission he wants to uh, take. We're so close to magnetic weapons. So close. Hogbite is uh, in good standing again. That is fabulous. We have a lot of bonds going for now, which is good. And we can see that an A and a B team sort of uh, crystallizes itself at this point. Um, as always, when you play more with certain soldiers, they will level up. And a couple of the squaddies here are quote-unquote left behind. No harsh feelings there, but that's just the reality of XCOM as well. Um, no, I mean, it's it's good. That, by the way, is super nasty. Fear of missed sh shots is potentially the, uh, the... That and compulsive reloader are the two worst fears. Everything else you can sort of handle, but... You're missing so often that fear of missed shots is bad, really, really bad. So in terms of uh, just setup, I think he'll uh, go with his... Oh no, he can't. Reaper is still wounded. Huh? Well, who knows? Maybe he's just going with Hogbite. Not a bad idea. He certainly has a zapper. Uh, that isn't as helpful with the Losts. Ah, uh, he'll figure something out. Yes, a couple of uh, good soldiers here. This duo, uh, Wolfhound and Black Magic, seem to work fine for him. So that's not too bad. Um, and other than that, did I forget anything? No, no. We have all of that. Comet preparedness. What are we tr uh, doing currently? Oh yeah, nice. He gets uh, he goes for aim plus three and twelve ability points. That's really not bad. I like it. Uh, if I'd be in his shoes, potentially finding the stronghold would be the next big thing. Well, this is not as good as it looks. Um,
Now this here isn't bad. And an extra scientist could be nice as well. Yeah, he'll figure it out. I Like I said, I potentially would go and start further hunting down the, uh, the warlock because I like to kill them early when they are not uh, that strong and benefit from their weapons. But yeah, speaking about which, that's the last uh, thing in today's episode. We're almost done with magnetic weapons. That'll give uh, the standard magnetic weapon upgrade for the assault rifles and a couple of the other kind of side arms. Uh, what we can do afterwards is go for shotguns and cannons and uh, sniper rifles as extra research, but I think it would potentially even make more sense to go alien biotech first and just go through that real quick. It's only two days. I mean, it, it's almost nothing at this point. And with uh, an equivalent of five scientists, that's really a decent um, option. Just rushing through it, opening up a couple of um, uh, research options, such as proving grounds, uh, but also the infirmary would be very helpful. So that is something to consider. And I'm sure Tapcat will uh, will notice that immediately. Anyways, that's the end of uh, today's episode here. Uh, if you enjoy collaborative XCOM campaigns, then now is the right uh, time to leave that collaborative comment in the comment section below. And off we go to Tapcat. See you guys in two days. Bye bye.